here I already have a paint poured background on Luan and the drawing of the chicken, the hen and her chicks. And then I went ahead and did acrylics for the beaks and the eyes and the little feet. So now I'm starting to fill in the oil part that I do with palette knife. And I'm doing the main body and head first with a light yellow and then I come in with a purple for shading and then I do the wings that way I don't lose my drawing of where the wings were just by doing one big yellow blob if you do a portion at a time you can remember where some of your um, details and body parts were all right this is my daughter's hen and chickens I mean hen and chicks they were pretty adorable the way they like to climb all over their mother so I thought that would be fun to document for the paint pour background I just used acrylic craft paints because you have to water them down so you don't want to start with super thick acrylic paints you water them down and you I added some polyurethane to it and you just you should really not pour it on your desk in the middle of your living room. I try to resist doing that because it's very, very messy. But every once in a while, I decide to do another layer. And I just seem to need to do it at my desk. And it's very exciting. And um, it's not good forethought. It definitely shows that I value art more than I value my floors. So then I'm finishing up the last little chick. He's the one that gets the painting named after him king of the mountain and I'm trying to mix up the particular color I'm not a chicken lady I can't remember what the type of hen is but she has just a really cool almost like a purple undertone to her feathers when she's in the light and I don't know couldn't quite capture it like I wanted but she definitely has a sort of beigey main color for her feathers so I, I put in this beige sort of purpley beige for her feathers here I'm I'm putting it on I tell people it's like painting with peanut butter the way you spread it with the knife I always like to spread it and then I put in my shadows next so there's purple for the shadows I don't I don't believe in doing black all the time in fact, I don't think I used black for my shadows in this painting at all. It was all purple. And then the pretty little hen has a, a more brown head. And I take my brush and get the paints up close to the acrylic detail parts. You can't do everything with a palette knife. But boy, you cannot compete with a palette knife for texture. And there I am putting in the feather texture. And you can see I'm wearing plastic gloves. It keeps me from making 